Ladies and gentlemen, this is Breaker, and I am back with another replay between my favorite Chinese Protoss. Actually, I don't know. Some are caught between my favorite and my second favorite Chinese Protoss. That would be the lower left-hand corner. The very own, one and only, Invictus Gaming's Gym. Now, pay no attention to the fact that it actually says uh, Meow Meow Meow. Excuse me, if you will, meow, 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 march. I'm actually a little confused as to why it actually says that. But in the upper right-hand corner, spawning is our Terran in the red trunks. I give you his opponent. Quantic Masan? I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I am completely lost as to why um, this is actually going on here. Like, I'm not sure if this is a part of the... Uh, I think this is a part of the Acer Team Story Cup, but I, I can't say for sure. This is basically the replay pack that I was given was named Jim, J-I-M. And it was sent to me via QQ um, by the Invictus Gaming Coach, that would be IG Edison. And honestly, you know, just I, I don't know what to make of this in all essence. Um, a little confusing considering we saw Quantic Masan playing Zerg a few minutes ago, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just call this guy Quantic Masan the way he is, even though he's Terran right now. I'm thinking this is perhaps a part of the Acer Team Story Cup. Looks like we've got Jim going for a double gas opener. I went ahead and just did a quick check on all the replays. That means I just booted them up, and I checked both players, and then I left the game. All of them contain a Chinese player, excuse me, a name with the Chinese name here that says Meow 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 March and a Protoss, a blue Protoss, usually. Usually blue. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see a red one. But yeah. Um, so right now we see a very normal, I want to say kind of classic opener from my son. He's actually going for, you know, it looks like Marine opener. Perhaps into uh, double command center, just like that. Factory over here, so this could actually be a command center later on. Uh, I'm thinking this will just be a 1 1 1. Skip the Reapers, just go straight into Medivac and, uh, you know, see, see what damage he can do from there after he gets some Widow Mines out. Another news today, I am 24 years old. I just turned 24 yesterday. And um, all I wanted for my birthday was uh, 5,000 followers on my new Facebook fan page. That would be facebook.com forward slash. This is my new Facebook fan page. Bing, it, it, to you guys, if you speak English, it'll say binge sc2. To the Chinese, it says Bingu SC2. Bingu SCR. Whatever have you. Alright. It looks like. Uh oh! Masan actually misclicked uh, a mule there, I think. That's actually rather interesting. Maybe high level play. Perhaps he knew that it wouldn't make it back in time with some minerals. So it didn't want to take 30 minerals off the line without being able to return them and uh, forcing them to drop on the ground, basically. Like. Long story short, he probably just wanted to save 30 minerals. So here we go. The Nexus is about to finish up for my son. And we have Jim sending a stalker across the map, trying to get a perfectly ordinary read on what Masan is doing right now. Well, actually, trying to chase down an SCV and failing at it. Um, it did see that the, the naturals finished up, so this goes from, uh, you know, this this basically opens up a huge window of opportunity for Hassan to really do some economic damage. I'm not sure who's going to win this one. As said before, I really only reviewed the replays. I didn't actually do any full thorough scanning of them or anything like that. But now we do have, um, it looks like four marines are going to jump into the medevac over here. I imagine. Either that or they could just be, you know, I think going for some forward harassment. Either way, it wouldn't surprise me. 
But it uh, looks like the medevac over here is just going to hit its ignite afterburners but go straight into the mineral line. We do have, of course, the very typical photon overcharge being activated. And the widow mine gets taken down because there's an observer watching. And the widow mine over here is a completely different story. But the observer here can see it. Yes, it can. Oh, wait, there's two observers. Alright, so we have a robotics bay, and I'm wondering what kind of a follow-up we're going to see in the near future. Is it going to be Twilight Council? You know, say, altogether, Jim had a beautiful hold there. He really did. I, I just don't know how else to say it. Now we do see that this is basically going to be a bio follow-up. In case the barracks, the double barracks here, excuse me, the two additional barracks here didn't tell you that. Um, the stim follow-up should have told you, should have told anyone who's watching. Okay, this is going to be lots of marines and lots of marauders, possibly some medevacs later on. <clears throat> and that's exactly what we see in production right now. Alternatively, what we have coming from... Uh, Hassan right now is, excuse me, from Mark Jim, is he's going for Double Forge and uh, a Robotics Bay follow-up with that. So, what we're going to see in the near future is basically something that can raffle stomp a great deal of Tyran bio armies. As long as the micro and the engagements are good, but we're going to have to see, you know, basically Jim get ahead economically, and he's already ahead economically. Um, he's got 47 workers to 38. Of course, the income could be slightly higher for Terran. In fact, it is slightly higher for Terran. But um, I do just want to highlight that... Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, for some magical reason that I have not yet devised, Terran, excuse me, uh, Terran versus Protoss, when we're talking about uh, you know the context of Protoss units being used... We're talking about uh, essentially them all being cost effective, so they're usually about 300 minerals. Oh my god, the, the mineral line here! Oh my god! Oh shit! Eight workers fell with a single swoop there, just because Jim wasn't watching. But if he throws down his third right now, he could be, I think, in a relatively safe position. We do see that Masan is essentially moving this uh, factory forward, getting ready for a timing to... I guess block the third nexus and it, it basically went the way he expected it to. If he had only had a cannon here, he could have stopped Masson from just absolutely massacring all those probes. But here we go, double vac, double vac, double vac, yes, double vac drop going into the main. Probe over here unfortunately gets shut down without a chance to get an expo up. And it looks like for the time being, we may see Masan try and do some damage that could essentially be game ending in the near future. Fun, again, uh, fun fact of the day about Masan. My understanding of him is, according to Team Li TeamLiquid.net's Li Liquipedia page, on him is that uh, there's no picture available for him, but he is a Grandmaster's level Zerg that did beat Suppy at some MLG event or another even though uh, Suppy came in as the favored player. Now we do have the medevac drops here coming down to take down a pylon. It's just there, you know, the pylon's essentially there to keep an eye on, you know, whatever may be coming from Masan. Oh boy, and this is not good. It looks like the Protoss main force is over there. But, oh no, mis slight misclick from uh, from Masan. And uh, there's the medevac drop. Some zealots warped in and it looks like it's not quite going to be enough to hold huge stim right here and I'm thinking if oh no oh no oh no one Colossus falls what about the other one it's not far from getting tall oh, man it got taken down but at the same time if we look at the exchange there the units lost altogether oh man yeah it's it's totally out of favor for Jim right now and is this is it just me or does it look like we're actually I don't know I'm thinking perhaps just perhaps that Nexus was a bit out of position just a bit. Amazingly, in that engagement, um, only one medevac took a lot of damage, really. Just look at this one. Anywho. It looks like this factory is going to burn down. And um, we can't, we have Quantic Masan coming in with another push. And I'm thinking, you know, if we just check the income right now, 
and not just the income, but the stage of where things should be for Protoss. It's I, it's just looking more and more like, you know, Jim's not going to be able to hold this. The Stalkers are not able to take down all the Vikings in time, but the Force Fields are sexy, and that is what's allowing Jim to hold here just a little bit longer than what would have been typically expected. Immortal coming in there, dancing, getting an extra kill. And sure, we see Jim playing from below, but it's, and it's actually quite a significant difference, the level that the love just how far below he is uh, if we check the army supply right now Masan is slightly ahead what's taking up about half of the supply overall is workers half of the supply difference excuse me overall is workers looks like we had him stim up going in here this pylon has been taken down yet again it's just going down there to basically have to act as a trip mine for you know Jim he, he needs to be able to keep an eye on just what's going down here for his opponent. And the thing is, what, what really makes me happy about uh, these players, it, it, it was so difficult breaking into the Chinese scene. It really was. But that is a story for the next cast, as we do have the drop coming back in. The drops, the drops, the drops! So epic, 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 and damaging, damaging, damaging. Hassan killing 26 workers over the course of this game, and it looks like the force at the third could end up just doing an absolute poop load of damage. The Nexus in the main has fallen. And now we essentially have just, oh my god, we have March in a position, you know, just Jim in a position where he's forced to be defensive on his second base. The Nexus in the main is inevitably going to try and be reconstructed, but for this few minerals, I just don't know if it's worth it or not. The number of, you know, marauders right here is actually, I think, far superior to that of the Colossi. They're a bit tankier than marines, and they are doing a lot of damage to the stalkers on the ground, which they get a buff against. They also get a buff versus Colossi, but there's now three in the mix. Zealots coming in here, they also don't do that well versus marauders, but, you know, for the time being, we see March hold, excuse me, Jim holding yet again. The third is being reconstructed in the main, but that's only for, you know, a few temporary moments of... Um, fully viable what's the word I'm looking for fully viable income I mean just look at the income right now it's it's not that good for Jim and I'm just a little curious is he going to be able to turn this around I've seen diamond versus masters games with supply differences like these where the Protoss ended up coming out on top and the Protoss was a masters player but again you know this is at the level of play we're seeing right now this is easily GM versus GM this is pro versus pro guys And now we have Archons warping in. There are no there are no ghosts yet, interestingly enough. Checking the tech right now. You know, we just see like right now we see Masan essentially showing off how many scans he can use in a single minute, scanning twice there, killing an observer and then um, throwing another scan down here on the third. If he engages this incorrectly, he could actually lose it, but it looks like now he's he's got the intention of ending the game. He's pulling all of the SCVs on all of his bases. The only thing I can highlight is, if this fails, we will not see him winning. But here we go. Colossi, AoE, the Archons, unfortunately, forced to deal with the SCVs just temporarily. And it looks like, slowly but surely, we have Jim in a position that is not quite so stable. The Vikings are dealing with the Colossi more than Aplian, but now we see the Terran units pouring into the third. I want to say that for the time being, if we see Jim hold this off in the near future, I mean like not, not income-wise, but if we can just see him hold a little bit longer, I think he'll be okay. But this could essentially be the downfall of Masan. Just check the income right now. I don't know. Here we go. The Vikings are not... They do not need to be grouped up like that, but... Oh, my God. There are no Colossi left in the mix, and it looks as though Jim's hopes are slowly but surely being dashed. The one thing that could have turned this game around would be just absolutely decisive storms. Just look at all of this. If there were storms to deal with this, this would already be over, and Jim would have won, but it looks like with that, we see Jim being taken down. Oh, man. Well, the other is, this is Breaker. I'll see you guys next time. Just go ahead and click on the subscribe button. GG.